And so if you're sitting and just waiting for things to go back to normal, I promise you this, you're going to be left behind. This is possibly the best time to be a human. Today, we're going to talk about how to get out of your comfort zone, why it's important to get out of your comfort zone, and why it's so hard to get out of your comfort zone. And I want to start off by talking about, first off, why your comfort zone exists. Okay. The reason why your comfort zone exists is because there's still parts of our brain that are 2 million years old. There's the amygdala, which is the fear part of our brain. It creates these fears and it's the oldest part of our brain. It's the reptilian part of our brain, as they call it. And you realize consciously as an adult right now in this conscious moment, you realize that if you get out of your comfort zone and go start this business of your dreams that you're not going to die. You understand that. You consciously understand that. But it doesn't mean that your subconscious, that the reptilian parts of your brain don't fear going out of your comfort zone. And the reason why is because they think, okay, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone. If I'm out of my comfort zone, there's a possibility that I could die. Now, you know, if you start a business, you're not going to die. But there's a part of you deep down inside of your brain that thinks if I step out of this comfort zone, AKA do something that I've never done before, do something that scares me, that there's not death attached to it. Your brain doesn't know that. And so you have to realize that if you're not getting out of your comfort zone as much as possible, as much as possible, your dreams are going to die there, right? Your dreams die inside of your comfort zone because Nobody has a dream that's inside of their comfort zone. If you're sitting there and you're thinking about your biggest dream in your life, what is it? I want you to think about that for a second. It's something that is probably so far out of your comfort zone that it makes you a little bit uncomfortable, right? It does. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I want you to realize is this. Comfort kills ambition. Your comfort kills your ambition. Perfect example. If I'm sitting on my couch playing around on Instagram, looking through and scrolling through watching, you know, reels and TikTok videos and all of that stuff, it's going to kill my ambition because I'm comfortable. It's easy. It's not hard. I'm just kind of sitting in my comfort zone. No big deal. But if I stay there, it's going to kill all of the ambition that I have in this world. And so what I always remember is, is something that one of my very first managers told me. One of my very first mentors used to always say, hey, Rob, you're either green and growing or you're brown and dying. There is no in between. You're either green and growing or you're brown and dying. And so I'm constantly asking myself, am I green and growing? Am I, am I forcing myself out of my comfort zone? Am I growing myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually? Or am I just kind of staying stagnant? And you've heard me say this before if you listen to the podcast for a while. I consciously say the word stagnant on purpose because I'm a very visual person. I know most people are visual. About 60 to 70% of people in the world are visual. So when I say the word stagnant, immediately what pops inside of my head is a dirty, gross pond creek that's not moving and it's got a film over it. There's mosquitoes and there's bugs and there's gross stuff that's growing inside of it, bacteria, all of that. And so I like to think of my life as I don't ever want to be stagnant. I always want to be moving forward because you're either progressing or you're regressing. That's it. There's no in between. And what I want you to realize with all of the changes that have been happening in the world right now, if you're trying to just wait until things go back to normal, I promise you this, you're going to be left behind. Some of the biggest thinkers in our world are popping up right now. Some of the biggest companies that are going to change the world are popping up right now. And usually when there's big shifts in the world, like there has been over the past year to 18 months, that's when the people who come out and change the world are found. That's when they show up. And so if you're sitting and just waiting for things to go back to normal, I promise you this, you're going to be left behind. What you should be doing right now is consciously going, you know what? I'm going to push myself out of my comfort zone every single day. I need to keep moving forward. You need to start the day leaning forward. And I said this a few months ago, about four or five months ago, is, is when you think about how you wake up every single morning, if you think about all the actions that you take every single morning, it should be consciously leaning forward. What do I mean by that? Is you can sit back and you can wait for the world to happen. You can wait for things to change. And that's kind of like, you know, if, if you're just waiting for things to happen, that means that you're on the defense. That means that you're on your back foot. You're kind of leaning back a little bit. For those of you guys that can't see me or listen to the podcast, you're leaning back. 
just, uh, I hope, I hope nothing happens. I hope I can just kind of make it through this time until things go back to normal. I hope I just react and put out fires. No, that's not what you should be doing right now. Right now, you should be consciously making yourself as uncomfortable as possible so that you can grow at a higher level and a faster level than anybody else that's out there. Because the people that are just waiting until things go back to normal are gonna wake up in six months or a year or two years or whatever it is when things go quote unquote back to normal and they're gonna realize, oh sh I'm really far behind. Why? Because people were doubling down and doubling down and doubling down over the past year, 18 months, however much longer this could possibly go. You've got to start your day leaning forward. So I want you to consciously think of this on a daily basis. Are you kind of leaning back, just like reacting, taking what the world gives you, reacting to it? Or are you leaning forward? So are you on the defense, as I was just explaining, or are you on offense going, you know what? I'm not going to wait for the world to go back to normal. You know what? I don't care what the world's going to look like in six months or a year because I am going to create the world that I want to live in. I'm not going to wait to see what the world looks like. I'm going to create it because the world is changing so much right now. You cannot stay the same. You can't stay the same right? Now is the time for massive growth, for massively pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, growing physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially in your business. It's not the time to sit on the sideline and just hope that things go back to normal. No, now is your time to wake up, to step up and start to kick some ass. So why are you here? Why are you on this planet? Now's the time to figure it out. You're needed more than you ever have been, right? Why are you here? How can you help? Those are two questions to start you off on the right foot, to start you off thinking how you can go out and do something good. Because if you're demotivated right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the reason why, I find lots of times the reason why people become demotivated is because they're only thinking about themselves. You're thinking too much about yourself, you're thinking too much about your what, what you want to do versus thinking, you know what? With all of the stuff that's happening right now, how can I help? How can I step up? How can I create something powerful in the upcoming months, in the upcoming year? How can I create something powerful? The people who become the richest entrepreneurs are the people who can solve the world's problems. Now, I'm not saying you have to solve every, everybody's problem right now like that. You don't have to do that. Maybe you want to. That's a beautiful thing. But you don't have to. So it's up to you. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to create? What is it that you're trying to create in this world? It's something important for you to think about and for you to figure out. But a lot of times, if you're feeling demotivated, is because number one, you're stuck in your comfort zone and comfort kills ambition. It's hard to be ambitious when you're just sitting around doing the same thing over and over again. And number two, maybe you're thinking too much about yourself. Maybe what you should do is you should think about how you can make a change for the world. You know, one of my favorite phrases is be ashamed to die until you've scored some victory for humanity. So what's the victory that you need to claim that you need to score for humanity. And the beautiful thing about it is, and I wanna explain this to be very, very, uh, very clear in the way that I explain this. Just because of the fact that you might be feeling like sometimes you're taking a step back before you're taking a step forward doesn't mean that you're failing, right? So the way I always think of it is like Tarzan, right? Let's say that you're Tarzan and you're in the jungle and you're at point A where you currently are and you look across the jungle and you go, all right, I've gotta get all the way to the other side of that jungle. So what do you do? You can only hold on to one branch at a time, right? So when you go from one branch, you got to get onto the other one and let go in order to move forward. Well, if Tarzan's going from one side of the jungle to the other side of the jungle, you have to realize he's not going to go forward, 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 forward with every single vine that he, gra he, he grabs. So maybe, you know, he goes for the first one. It's a little bit forward. And then he looks around and he's like, well, which one's next? The next one might actually be just a pivot to the other side. So now he's doesn't move forward at all, but he moves from one side to the other side. Okay, well, that's still movement. That's still moving, even if it's not in the right direction, it's still moving. Because sometimes in order to go to the next one, you have to move to the side to get to the one that's in front. And sometimes to get to the one that's in front, you've got to go backwards a little bit to get to the one that's in front. But ultimately, it doesn't matter if you're taking side steps. It doesn't matter if you're taking back steps. It doesn't matter if you're taking forward steps. All that matters is that these steps that you're taking are going towards the path that you want. Knowing Tarzan, he's not going to be able to hit every single vine moving forward. Some of them are going to have to go to the side. Some of them are going to have to go a little bit behind because when you go behind, well, then you can reach the one that's forward a little bit easier. So the important thing though is, is are you staying stagnant or are you keeping moving? 
The important thing is to keep moving. Not from a place of scarcity, not from a place of fear, because I know that can happen, I get it, where you can come from a place of scarcity and a place of fear and think, I gotta keep moving, man, I gotta keep moving, I gotta keep moving, because you know I'm afraid of what the world's gonna be. No, I'm not talking about moving forward and keeping moving because you're afraid of what the world could possibly be. I'm talking about moving forward because you want to change the freaking world, because you know the impact that you can have, because you know that there's so much potential left inside of you and that potential is not going to be actualized if you stay in your damn comfort zone. Your potential is going to be actualized when you get out of your comfort zone. You push yourself and you say, you know what? This isn't comfortable. Life isn't comfortable. This thing that I'm doing isn't comfortable every single day, but I'm on the offense. I'm on the offense. I'm on the offense. And I realize some of you guys are like, but, I, but I've got a family, but I've, I, I got to have some time for balance. Listen, I completely understand that. And I'm not saying take time away from your family. Balance is important. But also there's times to be in balance. There's also times to be out of balance. I don't believe that this is a time to be out of balance. Now, once again, let me be clear. I'm not saying don't spend time with your children. That's the, the, the least of what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't believe that this is a time to just wait and see what happens. I don't think that this is a time to just go, you know what? I hope that this works out. No, no, no. This is possibly the best time to be a human. Now, I, I realize there's stuff happening in the world, and the world will never be perfect. I, believe me, I understand that. What I'm saying is, there's so much opportunity for you around if you'll just allow yourself to look at it. If you'll stop looking at the things that are bad. If you'll stop looking at the things that are holding you back, and you go, you know what? Mm, yeah, there's a lot of opportunity around me. With all of the shifting in the world, how can you find the place where you want to be? For me... You know, I think that the thing I've been most grateful for is is when things started getting really wonky last year and started getting really weird. I remember when like full lockdown happened, right? I remember thinking the phrase where they talk about uh, uh, Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, says, when people are greedy, be fearful. And when people are fearful, be greedy. And so I remember thinking to myself, all right, we're going on lockdown. We were in lockdown. And I thought to myself, this is probably a chance that I'll never have again in my life. Where we're in this lockdown. And I, I consciously made the decision and said, you know what? If I'm going to impact more people, if I'm going to change the world, if I'm going to change my life, if I'm going to change everything that I do, I need to double down. And so even though I didn't know what was going to happen, I didn't know how the world would turn out. It didn't look really good when you're watching the news and you're looking at, oh my gosh, there's lockdowns, all that stuff. I went into full on hiring mode. I said, you know what? People are losing their jobs. I'm gonna hire more people. Why? Because I could probably get some really great people who want to work, who are eager to work, that also wanna change the world. And so what did I do? I doubled down on my business when other people were fearful. I think there's still a lot of fear going on right now. What's gonna happen? How's the world gonna be? How's this gonna end? I'm going to create my future, not going to wait to see what happens. So what are you gonna do? What do you need to create? You know, I'm constantly thinking to myself, how can I make everything that I do more impactful for the world? How can I constantly be on the edge of my comfort zone every single day? And I can tell you for the past year, I've been on the edge of my comfort zone pretty much every single day. And so I've been saying to myself, how can I change a podcast? How can I make it better? If you've been, if you've been following me for a while, you've noticed the massive growth that, that has happened over the past two years, but more than anything else, the massive growth that's happened in the past year and the massive growth of what's happening, the way my, my content's changed, my podcast has changed, my Instagram and Facebook, and all of the amount of content that I'm putting out, the quality of the content. I've invested more money into my business than I ever have over the past year, and it has paid off, but only because I wasn't allowing myself to stay in my comfort zone. I said, no, this is a time I'm gonna double down. And I've got some, I'm excited to tell you guys, I've got some amazing updates coming to the podcast. Um, I can't tell you what it is. I wish I could share what it is, but now's the not, 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 not the time to tell you. We have really uh, exciting updates that's coming in the next few months of things that we're going to do, uh, things that we're going to change, uh, ways that we can serve you guys at a higher level. But ultimately, the reason why I'm saying this is because it all came from the decision last year of I'm going to double down. I'm not going to be fearful. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to push harder than I ever have. And so if you're out there, I want you to remember your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. You're either green and growing or you're brown and dying. And your comfort kills your ambition. So how can you constantly make yourself feel uncomfortable? How can you push yourself just a little bit more every single day? And when you feel like you're demotivated, realize maybe you're thinking too much about yourself. 
Maybe you need to get on the offense to help others. And you ask yourself the two questions I asked you a few minutes ago. Why are you here and how can you help? What does the world need right now and how can you help that need? How can you put more joy into the world? How can you donate more of your energy, your time or whatever it is? The world has never been so interesting, but also the world has never had so many opportunities out in front of you. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Now is the time to double down. Now is the time to show what you're worth. Now is the time to show the world what you are, who you are, and that you're not going to be afraid. So I want you to realize this. Step out of your comfort zone. Live on the edge of your comfort zone every single day. Live with intention on your front foot, on the offense. Don't play in reaction mode and on the back foot. Move towards the front foot every single day. Have a vision of what it is that you're trying to create. And I promise you, number one, you're going to impact a lot of people. And number two, you're going to change your own life and bring out the best of you. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. There's one thing in this world that I don't want you to be. 